Ben Ashby, a very different set of experiences. <laughs> you come straight from sitting in your little box there with your machine and then suddenly you're out on the wire trying to control these boats. Tell us a little bit about the challenges. Yeah, look, the, um, it's definitely different to you know sailing the superfoil, you know, standing on the side of the boat than being locked into a into a cockpit. That's for sure. Although the um, you know the speeds aren't quite as high as what they are, on, you know, or were on the AC50 catamarans, the fact that you're actually standing on the boat on trapeze, you know, makes the boat actually feel a lot faster than than, than what it is going. But to be honest, doing anything more than sort of 30 knots, you know, mid 30s on a trapeze um, is is fairly uh, exciting no matter what you're on and um, certainly the, the racing that we've had here is, it has been very very exciting and to be able to sail here in Geelong in, in flat water and really be able to stretch your legs, um, put your shoulders back and let the boat sort of roll, it's, um, it's been really really nice. And uh, Nathan was saying the other day you two are comparing notes and saying oh that was an A-class moment, tell us a little bit about the variations across this, ACs and then into these, what do you, what, what's special about these boats? Yeah look these boats are, are very much, uh, you know they're, they're, they're a bit sir if you like, they're, they're a bit of a trimaran, a bit of a skiff, uh, a bit of a multi hull, a bit of a catamaran, they're, they're really quite um, different in the fact that there is no buoyancy out the front of the, the lured foil, um, whereas on a, on a catamaran for example, um, you touch down, you've got a lot of longitudinal stability um, with a lot of bow out the front, so really um, speed is very much your friend on the super coiler, you have to rely on the lift of the, of the foil, you can't rely on the, uh, the volume of, of the hull of the lured hull and you can't rely on any bow out the front of it so if you stick the bow down that little stubby float and that front beam is going to hit the water hard and uh, you're going to pull the, pull the brakes on pretty quick so uh, as, as we've seen previously but um, at, at times um, you sail it a little bit like an A-Class or a, a GC32 other times you sail, sail it like a moth, uh, other times you sail it like a skiff. So depending on what's happening, um, you know, what part of the turn that you're in, um, you know, mark rounding, starting, it's a little bit of everything. You really need to use a lot of different skills that you've learnt from, the, from previous experiences to put into this and I think that's part of the great challenge. It's, um, you know, after sailing sort of for more than 30 years to be able to jump on this, um, you know, the learning curve is massively steep and, and that's what's exciting about a challenge I think for everybody. And uh, you having done all of that variety is possibly one of the reasons why you're sitting well out the front and everybody's ganging up to try and get back on you. That Presumably it is literally that variety of experience that helps you in just those very subtle sort of trim changes and things, yeah? Yeah, look, I think, you know, certainly the, the time that we have spent, you know, Nathan and Ian and myself with foiling boats over the last sort of six or eight years really um, is, definitely a, is definitely a help, but certainly not a hindrance. And I think the fact that, you know, Nathan and Ian have, have spent so much time sailing together, um, Ian's extremely... Uh, handy on the front of the boat and Nathan's no slouch on the back so uh, if, if I can sort of be in the, the meat between the sandwich if you like and just sort of do my job well as well and and uh, you know communicate some of the things together it really is a, th a three-person boat you can't you can't carry anyone you can't hide you're, you're very exposed and you have to do everything very well together as a group to get the boats around the track and uh, for myself personally to be able to you know have a sail with Nath and Goobs is uh, it's fantastic you know we're good mates and, and to be able to do that here in summer um, in Australia it's a, it's a pretty nice reward for uh, you know working abroad for the last few years. So a couple of very quick questions just on the technical side. So obviously modelled originally really on the idea of uh, Bill McCartney's sort of 18, 18 footers with three guys on the trapeze. What's different about your roles or is it really largely similar to uh, the model in an 18 footer? Yeah, look, I think it, it has a lot of similarities to, to the 18-footer. Um, you know, I think that the front two rolls on the boat are, you know, a lot of string pulling, a lot of sheet moving. Um, I think the communication aspects are, are very, very key to get the boats around the track, as they are in, a, in an 18-footer. Um, I think they've done a brilliant job with the concept of sort of, you know, keeping a lot of the traditional good aspects of the 18s, but, but bringing that forward into a really modern environment. And obviously there's no front sails going up and down, but, um, you know, the fact that you're foiling, it's, it's turned it into a sort of a three D issue, not just a 2D issue, you know, sailing along uh, with the hull in the water. So um, a few little changes, but I think that's that's made it exciting for, for the yachting. Um, and as time goes on, everyone will learn to sail the boats better. When you when you first saw the you know the, the, the 49ers try and get out of the marina, everyone was having dramas and now the guys jump on and just get them out easily. And it's the same with, with moths. Um, it's a learning experience, um, as it is with the America's Cup. You know, it takes two or three years um, to, to get the boats around the track well. If, if you look at the last America's Cup, the first test boats we had, um, you know, a lot of people are going, oh, well, they're never going to get these around the track. And you saw the racing we had, you know, at the, towards the end. It was absolutely brilliant. So, um, you know, it is a learning experience. Um, 
not just from the sailing side but from the organisational side, um, from the regatta management side, from the TV broadcast side, um, but you know it's uh, all there to, to hopefully enhance our sport and, and put our sport on the map against other sports worldwide. So anything like this to me, um, you know, being a yachtsman I think is, is a wonderful thing for, for, for our sport for the future. Ooh.